What is going on? I'm Zedmod. First of all, big shout out to all of the Americans out there. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Now, speaking of blowing things up, fireworks, Independence Day, melon bombardiers are in the armory. You want to use them. They are absolutely, absolutely insane, especially for low levels. With low levels, you can clear your map with zero difficulty whatsoever. You can also get extra levels of Dr. T. So if you have any questions about those guys, do let me know. I will throw a video out on them soon. But first, we're going to jump into warships um, where we don't have melon bombardiers. But along the same lines, you probably want to go and get bombardiers. Now, over the weekend, I had absolutely crap internet service. We were on one bar of 3G. Do you remember 3G? Um, Gotta say, Boom Beach runs incredibly well on low bandwidth. I couldn't load a website, I couldn't load YouTube, but Boom Beach ran fairly well. Now, I managed to get this base into gold with basically zero defenses. So, Rocket Choppers early, early on were incredibly strong. I could beat all sorts of players. But as bases like this start to move into four engine rooms, that's going to change. Also, people are going to start to get four rocket launchers. Then they're going to start to get six rocket launchers. Plus, they're going to have all the defenses back here. So things are going to get messy for the rocket choppers. But bombardiers, probably going to be the answer. That's where I'm going to head for right now. Now, obviously, rocket choppers, you have to get them. They're on the path. But whether or not you actually upgrade them is the question. So I'm going to go like this right now. We're going to get into four engine rooms now. Four engine rooms I have enjoyed much, much more. The three engine room meta, people are not getting all the engine rooms or they're getting some of the engine rooms and then you're just like stuck with one or two troops. It is a complete and utter gong show. Now, I've got three accounts in gold right now. One of them has the GBE node there. One of them has the smoke node there. One of them has shocks. Uh, the one with rocket choppers has shocks. You basically need shocks for rocket choppers. Um, I've been doing three boats heavies with my rocket choppers. But for this base, we're just going to get moving. Going to see just how far we can get. Now, at this point, i got to make the difficult, difficult choice to go get rocket launchers or to go get the Doom Cannon. Now, that might be an easy choice for some of you, but I am not super sure of which one to go with. So, I'm going to go like this. We're going to get our building health boosted just like this. Now, to get up your rocket launchers up to having four of them is going to take quite a bit, but I'm still going to go that road, I believe. Uh, just... Feel free to flame me in the comments. I think that was a terrible, terrible idea. My thinking is um, I'm going to get three defenses instead of that one Doom Cannon. It might be the wrong call, but I can get that in two days or so, or two, 16 hours, I guess, or I guess probably more like seven hours. Now then, we are going to build ourselves a base. Now, this base, I am going to copy from a wonderful, wonderful human. I don't know if he's a wonderful human, but he's a good... Boom Beach player, nice guy. Um, Sir Charles, Sir Charles kind of like led myself down a bad path there by starting that sentence in that manner. Um, we are going to go something like this. I am going to bring you guys along for the ride because you have said, hey, you like to be taken along for the ride. Now, Sir Charles right there has a Doom Cannon. I don't have that Doom Cannon. And it's amazing just how long it takes to build up keys this season but as you can see right there i am engine room locked so i am going to go for those extra rocket launchers which are also going to give me kavan um bombardiers like there's just so many days worth of chests ahead of me so a little bit unfortunate on that side this season i've already griped about a few times not a huge fan of the long seasons now um long season would be fun if the chests and tokens were a little bit better balanced, I would say. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I, I, I'm all for long seasons, don't get me wrong. It's just I think it's just the fact that they don't balance them terribly, terribly well. And I know other people have gone off on this in the past, so I'm not going to go too far down that negative, negative rabbit hole. We're just going to build this stinking base I feel like rocket launchers are the better choice here than the Doom Cannon. Um, but again, I have been completely offline for the last two days, three days. So 
I'm kind of in a bit of a vacuum here, not a place I like to be because I like to be have my finger on the pulse a little bit more than it has been, but we're just going to build this base out and there's not a ton of mines that we need to worry about. I'm just going to double check those lines on shore, making sure that I'm in the right sort of neighborhood. And every time I build a base, I got to say, Boom Beach, I love you guys. You you guys have done a fantastic job throwing those lines on the shore, and I know you're pro I'm probably a broken record by now, but without those lines on the shore, it would be just an absolute, absolute nightmare. I'm sure that it also just makes things look prettier. That's probably why they were put there, but side effects are a good thing. We're getting awfully close to having this base built. Those rocket launchers, the fact that there's three of them, I, I'm really, really hoping I'm not getting hit in the comments with a you're a dummy, you picked the wrong thing. But um, I'm, I'm open to that too. Just try and be gentle, please. We're trying to attract that 65 plus uh, female crowd in the videos. So being nice is the great way to their hearts. If you're not sure what the heck I'm talking about, that is, I'm going to bring this up one more time. We have zero people in that 65 plus female category bottom left so if you can help us get some people in there please do send it along i had at least one person say they sent it along to their grandma but they also can't keep their grandma off tinder apparently so whatever makes grandma happy send it her way now um other p players sir charles for example went the cannon route instead of the mortar route very curious to hear what you guys did. I am been liking the mortar route. I feel like the mortars are going to be a great, great success story against those um, bombardiers. But we'll see. Bom bombardiers do outrange uh, the mortars, by the way, but they don't outrange them always. Your troops will bunch up sometimes. So I'm hoping that's going to happen with these guys. As we throw our huge, ridiculous, long line of mortars. Look how many mortars we have. Um, I feel like I've missed a sniper tower somewhere. Or maybe Sir Charles doesn't have as many defenses as I do. That's probably what's happening. That is going to be a common, common thing. People have skipped this choice node and gone on forwards. Or they've skipped this choice node. It real. There's so many different ways to have your defenses set up. But whatever you do, do make sure you get those boom cannons. Boom cannons are going to be vital. If you skip both those choice nodes, do make sure you get the extra boom cannons or the boom cannons in general. Because otherwise you're going to have a bad, bad, bad time. Now, I am going to throw my sniper towers in random, random spots simply because... Mr. Charles does not have them, so I can just mix them in here. Um, I'm going to go something like this, trying and trying to mix things in. Oh man, not quite enough room. I'm going to move things back ever so, ever so slightly and just try to mix these sniper towers in because I planned this base i looked for a base that had basically the same stuff as me and then it turns out he doesn't have the same stuff as me so a little bit of a bad bad choice on my part and if i was uh, on mute or um not building this base live with you i could have hidden my shame but we can't do that at the moment so Canada Day long weekend was over the last weekend. We had the Friday off. I know Americans have the Monday off today. So hopefully you guys are either taking the day off or getting paid for doing nothing or getting paid double time, I do suppose. We're going to keep throwing these gosh darn mines down, though. Once I get flustered, I have a bad, bad time getting all of my defenses into position. That boom cannon back there is not in the right spot. I can already tell that, which means that this is in the wrong spot. This is in the wrong spot. There we go. Getting that boom. And then that's when I start to actually inspect where the heck my defenses need to go. Is when I start to throw my mines down. I find that the mines will point you and show you that, hey, you've got some things in the wrong spot. That's why I just rush and get my defenses out here. So... Let's take a breath here. Going to slowly but surely get some things into position. Um, by, oh, quick shout out. By the way, um, I have had beers with three people who play Boom Beach. I have met in the real world three, a whole three whole people. And one of those people um, has a parking spot 
on his property, not a parking spot. He allowed me to park on his property um, to get out to my parents' cabin. My parents have a cabin that's only accessible by boat. There's no electricity, no cell service. And uh, he let me park my car at his property and then came out in his rowboat to meet us, had the car warmed up, ready to go in the pouring rain. So Boom Beach delivering more than just um, fun on the handheld, also getting people out there in so let me know in the comments if you've met anyone from boom beach actually i suppose i've met a couple more because i went to finland with some boom beachers as well so um i feel like i've probably met more boom beachers than the average folks out there but um, i encourage you to safely and carefully meet all sorts of boomers from your task force potentially um if you're ever in my neighborhood and I've talked to you and hung out with, and with you online, do send me a message. We can go for an adult beverage, potentially. Trying to get all of our remaining minds into position. I think this is about the final group of minds. I hate mines. I hate placing mines. It is not enjoyable. Shock mine coming in hot here. So many mines. I think I've placed all of those absolutely perfectly, but who really knows at this point? I am just... Now I'm going to have to try to place some boom mines because I changed that base up a little bit. One, two, three up the front. One, two, three up the front. And now I still have eight mines. Okay, we're going right into here. My goodness. Um, so, melon bombardiers uh, do use them. You can put them behind tanks if you need to, but at a low level, you very, very likely don't need to because uh, they're going to outrange basically everything. Just use your gunboat energy to get rid of um, boom cannons and you should be golden. Okay, there are our seven mines that go there. Somehow, some way, I'm still missing mines. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um... And this is why I love the fact that people build bases, because I've already run out of steam, and this base is not even close to done. I've got to find... What have I got to find there? Four more mines. Where are the shock mines? I'm going to guess that we've got a shock mine hidden behind here. We're going to hide that one right there. I'm going to hide a boom mine about there. Let's put you about there. And then we're going to throw... Maybe, just maybe, a mine somewhere in this sort of neighborhood. And where do we want to put you? Uh, let's go you there. Hiding mines is one of my favorite activities. But as you can see here, just having a little bit of difficulty because I'm running out of steam. Building bases to all the players out there who actually build their own bases. Massive shout out for you. Um, now that that is done... Oh, finally. Um, we're going to jump in and do some form of attacking. I don't know what troops we're going to use. I'm probably going to fail. As you can see, I've been using whole bunches of wonky troops. I've also been using Cluster Grenade, and the reason for that is I just like having Brick come in and blast all sorts of buildings. Uh, I've had decent success with her, so now the problem is... I'm going to switch back. I've got tick two medics, as you can see here. Our medics are tick five. Big shout out to Madman Hal for pointing that out. Tick five medics do fairly well, but uh, I don't know. I've, I'm hoping that my opponents are going to fizzle. I don't know if they're actually going to fizzle or not. And now we're just going to get these grenadiers out behind, waiting waiting, waiting, and then I'm just going to slowly but surely bring out some form of rifleman once my heavies start to clear some of those mines and those flamethrowers start to go down. As soon as those flamethrowers start to go down, we should be in decent state. We should be able to get all of those riflemen out from behind, which are going to help deal with all of those sniper towers as that left sniper tower goes down. I love that. The range of riflemen and sorry, the range of Grenadiers is so, so vital at this point because you know as soon as your troops start moving that you you just start watching all of those um, mortars and sniper towers and boom cannons knowing full well that all of your troops are going to get shot squarely in the face if you're not super duper careful. So this is where Brick's Cluster Grenade has been fairly clutch, getting all sorts of defenses done. And now as our troops 
clear all of those mortars on the right hand side we should be able to get all sorts of engine rooms but that middle boom cannon look our opponents already retreated so we should be able to pick up the win i would just really really like to be able to pick up a couple engine rooms in the process that center boom cannon just needs desperately to go the heck away and it's gonna be awfully awfully close come on come on there we go now we're gonna get probably two engine rooms on that right hand side uh zero opposition on that right hand side the only issue is that it's gonna take a heck of a long time because we are in the process of missing and grenadiers are not quick base stood up now we just need to get, actually, you know what, we could probably potentially even get three of those engine rooms. What I'm going to do right here is I'm going to do a quick pause. We'll come back in sometime less than two minutes, and I'll try and show you those engine rooms exploding. Okay, it's been 40 seconds, and we get one engine room moving on forwards. I highly, highly doubt we're going to get that third engine room, but we're at least going to get two and pick up the victory. I think we're about to get shot in the face. Yeah, see, our troops are just not going in the right direction. Uh, we are not going to get those final engine rooms, so I will do the nice guy thing and retreat. You can also force close at that point, but because my troops were not going to get any more engine rooms and we already had the win, there's not a lot of benefit in that, and you're just going to piss off your opponent. So we have the first win. Let's see what Nawa brings into the party. What are you bringing in? Rifles and Zookas and bringing in battle orders. I am... That is insane to bring in battle orders. I have seen nothing but Iron Will with... Whoa, opponent has... Oh, never mind. That's me. So bringing in all of the troops. Those rocket launchers doing fantastic, fantastic things. And then the retreat from our opponent. So... I like it. I like the fact that you tried to go up that side, my friend, but it just didn't work out. Um, that's probably the play that a lot of people are going to do. Now, as far as the tech tree, realistically, getting that Doom Cannon was probably the better play because offensively, bomb bombardiers are going to be way, way more fun. But on this account, I am full on defensive, as you can see, But I ha because of the fact that I have all those choice nodes. So... It's not super duper fun on this defensive side, but I've got another account that's fully offensive. So um, that's one of the benefits of having multiple accounts. As you all very, very likely know, this is going to be a Oh my god, they've got max level rocket launchers. I'm probably going to need to get rid of at least one of those. I don't know if I can get all the way to the back. It's going to be interesting to say the least. I think bomb grenadiers have probably outlived their welcome. But I'm very, very curious to see just how the heck far we can go with these guys. I feel... Didn't I just switch out a, one of those riflemen for a heavy? I swear that I did. Um, regardless, we've got way too many heavies at the moment. I'm going to send you over here, Mr. Rifleman. And then we're just going to hold, hold, hold. Hoping that we... We're doomed. Those back rocket launchers are going to absolutely melt our faces. This is probably going to be a zero versus zero engine room sort of attack that right there that was absolutely clutch the fact that that last um flamethrower went down before all of our riflemen went there probably is going to be the difference between an absolute and utter failure and an, a failure that's already going to be a failure now come on this is where cluster grenade is going to be absolutely clutch i think this is where Brick cluster grenade is going to be huge, huge, huge. Come on, Brick. Get that last right there. Come on, get it. Did not. Ugh. So close. We have the chance to get an engine room. Probably not going to go, but we're just going to have to wait and find out if Brick's cluster grenade was ever so slightly faster. We might have gotten that right hand side engine room. Opponent has retreated. What do you got, opponent? We might have the win, you know? With level. Three, what level are those? Level 10 rocket launchers. Tick two rocket launchers. Did we get it? Did we get it? Come on. Percentage 50% to 48. Bricks Cluster Grenade won it for us that time. I know Bricks Cluster Grenade isn't the best tool. Look at that. This is why I got the heck out of three engine rooms. Not a great place to be towards the end there for me. So, ugh, my friends, four engine rooms are better but you gotta get into bombardiers that is where i should have gone 
We're going to be able to get that Doom Cannon and going to make our base even stronger. Let me know in the comments um, what you're doing for Independence Day, even if you're in India or Sri Lanka or the Philippines or somewhere else. Um, working is an acceptable answer. That's what I'm doing today. Also, let me know if I should have gone for Doom Cannons instead of Rocket Launchers, where you're sitting at, and which of these choice nodes you went with and all of the rest of that. So we're very, very close to getting our rocket launchers boosted up a tiny, tiny bit. That next chest is going to get it for us, which is going to make our base even stronger. I'm going to place that rocket launcher dead center as we wait for the Doom Cannon to come out. Otherwise, I shall talk to you soon, though. As per always, thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmot. Peace.